Hi guys, this is the um, hints video for lesson 6.5 on your own problems medium version. So we've got two word problems here. Okay, so um, the first thing you want to do is draw your diagram. So we need to set up our map. Um, let's see. Our directions were south and east, so I kind of chose this section. And both the park and the movie theater are in relationship to the mall. So I'm going to put the mall in the middle. I'm going to make that the mall. And then let's see, the park is south of the mall. So that means the park would be somewhere down here, right? And the theater was east of the mall, so that puts the theater somewhere over here. Okay, and with that we get a triangle that we can then use to solve this problem. So let's go through and label our triangle. Um, first piece of information is that Andrea starts at the park and bikes three miles to the theater. So park to theater, right here, that's three miles. Okay, second piece of information is that she's biking at a bearing of 42 degrees. So bearing is angle measured clockwise from north, so right here is our bearing. Okay, and then here's our question. How far is it from the park to the mall? So on our diagram, park to mall is right here. That's a missing side, so let's give it the variable x. Okay, and that's the setup for our problem. So um, maybe that's all you need. If that's all you need, you can stop here. Otherwise, we're gonna go a little bit farther. So we're now in 6.2 territory, solving for a missing side. To do that, we wanna know what we have, what we want, and what trig ratio to use. So the side that we have is this three. That is the hypotenuse of our triangle. The side we want is x, and for 42 degrees, that's the adjacent side. So think which trig ratio uses adjacent and hypotenuse, and hopefully we come up with cosine is adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. Okay, so now we need to write an equation from here on out, it's pretty much going to be your guys' job, but we know our equation should be cosine. And your job is to fill in these numbers. So cosine of what equals what over what, and then you're going to solve for x. If you need help solving for x, you can check out lesson 6.2. There's lots of examples on solving for a missing side. Okay, that's it for number one. Um, let's go down to number two. So, Ollie the Explorer has heard about some hidden treasure, the continuing adventures of Ollie the Explorer. Um, so again, we want to set up our map. So our directions were south and east, so again, I have the south and east section of the compass there. Um, and we know the treasure is 30 miles south and 50 miles east of the Isle of Mice. So we're comparing to the Isle of Mice, so I'm going to put the Isle of Mice in the middle. Okay, that's Isle of Mice. Then to get the treasure, we need to go south and then east, right? So south and then east, here could be the treasure. And then we can get this triangle. If I just mark that point, that's not like a special point, but okay, so here is our treasure. Okay, so there's our map. Um, now let's label it with what we know and what we want. So first thing we know is that the treasure is 30 miles south. So the distance we went south was this vertical distance down, we went down. And that is 30.
Okay, and then um, 50 miles east, right? So here's how far we went east to get to the treasure. So that's going to be 50. I don't know if you could hear that, but Ollie is crawling into a grocery bag. That's what that noise is. <laughs> um, okay, uh, and then finally, we have our question. What bearing should Ollie sail at? So remember, the bearing is measured clockwise from north. So here's where Ollie is sailing, right? Ollie's sailing that way. North is here, so our bearing is going to be this angle. So this is the angle we want. Okay, but we notice that that's outside of the triangle. So to help us out, we're going to first find this angle. So if you can find this green angle, then you can find the yellow angle using linear pairs, right? We remember that linear pairs add to 180. Okay, so um, maybe that's enough for you. You can stop here, or we can do a little bit more setup. So uh, we're finding a missing angle. We want to know what we have and what um, trig ratio to use. So this is the angle we're looking for. That means we have the opposite side and then the adjacent side, right? So which trig ratio uses um, opposite and adjacent? Hopefully you come up with tangent. Okay, and now you're gonna take it from here, but we know our equation will have tangent in it. So you need to fill in these blanks. Tangent of what equals what over what? So fill those in with numbers or variables, and then um, we're solving for a missing angle. So if you need help solving for a missing angle, you can check out lesson 6.3. Um, and other than that, I hope this helped you guys get started. Have a great day, guys.